Hey guys, this is SOJ, and I'm going to show you how to make a custom stage list for Project M. Now this used to take a long time to do, maybe like an hour for me every time I had to do it, but I simplified the process with one easy program. All you have to do is download the program PM Custom Stage List Creator. Right now it's an alpha, but it has a lot of features that I'd really like to show you. So I'm going to start with a vanilla version of Project M. And this is just what you would download from the website. It has all the regular stages in it. And then I'm going to download that program I said, which is called PM Custom Stage List Creator Alpha. Once I have that zip downloaded, and it should be in the guide or under the description of this YouTube, you right clicked it, extract here to a folder you have already made. I already made a folder, and I already extracted it. So we're just going to open it up. The file is actually called index.html. You want to double click that and it opens it up. Now you'll see the custom stage list creator alpha. And this is a very useful tool. So right now I have a lot of presets set. So the first preset you'll see when you open this up is 9 stages and 27 stages on page 1 and page 2. Now this stage list is actually Paragon stage list. So I wanted to put a few stage lists that people usually use, like stage 10 will have Yoshi's Island Brawl, 11 stages will have Distant Planet, so on and so forth. When you get to uh, 14 stages, it has the bottom two rows of uh, 3.6. So that's pretty useful. Um, now you can go through these stages individually and change them. Say I want to change Castle Siege to Luigi's Mansion. It'll change it there. And if you change the page, come back to it, it'll save that. So this is something you could just play around with. So say I want to actually make a stage list. And I want to make this stage list, which is Paragon stage list, but I don't want Delfino's secret. I want to put in Norfair onto this stage list. Norfair is already on page two, so I want to take Norfair from page two, put it right here where Dreamland is, and then put Dreamland where Delfino's secret is. So on the left, on page one, you'll see down here, stage four, that's Dreamland. You can click that and search for it, or you can just type it in. So I'm just going to type in. Uh, Norfair, because I want to put Norfair there. Then I see Delfino Secret down here. Click that, and then I'll change that to Dreamland. Then on page two, uh, it's all the way down here. We've got a lot of stages. A lot of people ask me, is 27 the limit? Uh, right now it is, only because it's the amount of stages that can fit. So on page two, you scroll down go all the way through the stages and you find Norfair, which is the second to last stage. And then you click on it and you put Delfino's Secret. Scroll back up, there it is. Alright, so I have this stage list. I also want to use it for tournaments. So I want to label the stages and put colors around their borders. So you can see what is a starter and what is a counter pick. And then the page 2 will automatically be banned. Uh, so you come down here, use colored stage list textures, check that, and it will load that. And this is what it will look like in game. It'll have yellow around all of these stages, green, and then the page two will be banned. So now, once you're done with that, you press generate codes, and it will save. So you want to find the folder that you extracted it to. You want to be on the root of that folder, and you want to click save. This will save a stageless textures.bat file, which is going to be important in just a little bit. So you just save that to the root of that folder, it'll download it, uh, and it will also generate codes for you. And what you want to do with this is highlight it all, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then go back to your folder, uh, open up rsbe01.txt. That open. This is the full codes for Project M. So all of these codes make up Project M. So you want to scroll all the way down, 
and once you get to the bottom you'll see custom stage select screen. I'm going to highlight that and press Control v to paste which will change the custom stage select screen. You save that, Control s and then you close this. You take rsb01.txt, click and drag this over gctconvert.exe and that will automatically make rsb01.gct and you will see what to do with that in just one second. Now you'll go to stagelisttextures.bat that downloaded. You'll double click on that. It'll say, do you want to run this? You say yes. It'll run this. Go through that. So now in your MISC data 80 folder, open that up. If you look through it, you'll see all of your textures have color codings on them. So what that means is you can open up this file I included, which is necessary for this to work. You have to double click this if you have Rawbox 76B, and you can actually get that from here. I left a download link right here. So you just click that, and it will save, and you install that, and you use that to open up SC Cell Map. Right click on MISC Data 80, conveniently name the same thing. Replace all. Then you have to go through your computer, find the folder that downloaded. Mine is PM Custom Stages Creator. I have MISC Data 80 here. Click on that, click OK. Export all, you want to click OK. And now you close this and save it. And you're done. That is literally all you have to do. And I will show you exactly what that looks like. I'll open up my virtual SD card. This is where Dolphin keeps all the files for its SD card. Open up Project M, PF. Then go to Menu 2. Take SC Cell Map and drag it in there. Override it. And then I'll go to Codes. Take my RSBE01.gct put it in there, overwrite it, and you would do the exact same thing on a regular SD card. These are the files that you would replace. So if I close that and then go open Dolphin again, this might be a little bit laggy. If you go through this, go to the stage select screen, you'll see that exactly how I made it. There is a counter pick up here, and on the second page, don't make no secrets right there. Everything on this has been. And this is the exact build that you saw in the beginning of the video, so all I did was exactly what you saw. And that's how you make a custom stage select screen.